Standard Life plc is a long-term savings and investment business, with headquarters in Edinburgh and operations around the globe. It has 1.5 million shareholders in more than 50 countries and over 6 million customers. History The Standard Life Assurance Company was established in 1825 and was reincorporated as a mutual assurance company in 1925. During the 19th century it opened offices in Canada, India, Shanghai and Uruguay. In 2006 demutualization took place and the company was floated on the London Stock Exchange. The company sold Standard Life Bank plc to Barclays plc in January 2010 and then acquired the remaining 75% stake in 3S60, a financial advisory support business, that it did not already own for an undisclosed sum in March 2010. It sold its healthcare division to Discovery Holdings, a South African business, in May 2010 and went on to buy Focus Solutions Group, a financial software company, for a £42 million in December 2010. In February 2013, the company announced that it had acquired the private client division of Newton Management Limited, a UK wealth management unit of BNY Mellon, in a deal worth up to a £83.5 million. In March 2014, it was announced that Standard Life was in advance talks to purchase rival Phoenix Group Holdings a Euro unregistered trademark Ignis Asset Management for around a £400 million. Towards the end of the month, Standard Life completed the acquisition for a fee of a £390 million. In September 2014, Standard Life agreed to sell its Canadian operations to Manulife Financial for around £3.7 billion. Operations Standard Life is a long term savings and investment business, headquartered in Edinburgh, with operations across the globe. It employs around 9,000 people worldwide, and has over 6 million customers. Standard Life has major operations in Europe, Canada, and Asia, as well as two joint venture insurance businesses, HDFC Life in India and Hung and Standard Life in China. Its investments business, Standard Life Investments, provides fund management expertise for the rest of the group. In the UK, in addition to its main business, it also owns three subsidiary businesses, Focus Solutions, a software and consultancy business, 3S60, a services provider and Webnet, a software and services provider. Standard Life is a primary listing on the London Stock Exchange, and has 1.5 million shareholders in more than 50 countries. It is also listed in a number of the Dow Jones Sustainability Indexes, including the DJSI World, which ranks the world's leading sustainability-driven publicly listed companies. The largest part of the group is its UK business, employing around 6,000 people in Edinburgh. It also has offices in London and satellite offices around the country. The second largest part of the group is Standard Life Assurance of Canada, which employs over 2,000 people. Senior Management, the Companion Euro Unregistered Trademark S Board of Directors is made up of a Chairman, three Executive Directors and eight Non-Executive Directors. The Board has nine men and two women. Details of the Chairman and Executive Directors include, Sir Jerry Grimstone appointed in May 2007, David Nish appointed in January 2010, replacing Sir Sandy Crombie, Keith Skeech appointed May 2006, the non-executive directors are, Pierre Dornan, appointed in October 2011, Crawford Gillies, appointed in January 2007, David Grigson, appointed in November 2009, Noel Harath, appointed in July 2012, John Painter, appointed in January 2012, Lynn Peacock, appointed in April 2012, Martin Pike, appointed in September 2013, Luke Savage, appointed in May 2014, controversy, in January 2006, Standard Life were accused of smearing a policyholder, Michael Hogan, who was not happy with the way the company was being run. An email sent to Standard Life executives and advisors revealed an attempt to discredit him. In March 2007 the company announced it would cut 1,000 jobs in an attempt to save an additional a £100 a million per year in costs. One month later it was highlighted in the company's annual report that three of Standard Life's top executives were awarded more than a £5 a million in pay. 
a standard life spokesman defended the awards, citing the leadership's efforts in turning round the company's fortunes. In February 2014, Standard Life announced that it may move parts of their operations outside Scotland in the event of Scottish independence, if it was necessary to do so. References External links Official website, Standard Life Assurance Company of Canada, Standard Life Healthcare